Remember me? This is Dr. Brain again. Now we're in the midbrain. We've covered the upper cervical cord. We've covered the various sections of the medulla. We've covered the pons, and now we're in the midbrain. Particularly, especially, we were in the caudal midbrain around the inferior colliculus. There are ten important structures that I should point out to you, which I will, and then we'll come back briefly and talk about function, as is our usual routine. Note the inferior colliculus. By the way, when we have this structure here present in this section, which is the decussation of the superior cerebellar peduncle, when you see this, then this nuclear structure here is the inferior colliculus. That's how you're able to distinguish this slide from the next slide, which we'll get to. Inferior colliculus, one. Periaqueductal gray matter, two. Cerebral aqueduct, three. The trochlear nucleus, four. The medial longitudinal fasciculus, five. The decussation of the cere superior cerebellar peduncle. The medial limniscus and laterally attached to the medial limniscus is a lateral spinothalamic tract. The very important substantia nigra and then the basis of the peduncle, the peduncular basis, which contains several important fibers that I fiber systems which I'll point out to you. This is the, these are the cerebral peduncles. The inferior colliculus is receiving auditory information which is used for reflexes such as you turn your head when you hear a sound to the side. The important periaqueductal gray here contains descending serotonergic fibers to the spinal cord, which helps to attenuate pain. The trochlear nucleus, of course, these are the neurons which are supplying the ipsilateral superior oblique muscle. And below it, the medial longitudinal fasciculus, a very important fasciculus uh, in clinical neurology. This fasciculus is very frequently affected in multiple sclerosis, uh, the effect would be a demyelinating, demyelinating process here. The decussation of the superior cerebellar peduncle, where information from the dentate nuclei cross over before they reach the red nucleus and the thalamus. Attached laterally, or nearly attached in appearance anyway, we have the medial limniscus containing vibration, two-point discrimination, and conscious proprioception from the body. And lateral to that, the lateral spinothalamic tract containing information about pain and temperature from the body. The substantia nigra, that all important uh, nuclear structure related to which can be affected in Parkinson's disease. And then the cerebral peduncles, the medial portion of the cerebral peduncle containing fibers from the frontal lobe of the brain, about the middle three-fifths of the peduncle containing fibers that constitute the cortical bulb or in cortical spinal tracts, and then the lateral aspect of the peduncle, fibers from the, from the occipital, parietal, and temporal portions of the brain.